everyone. Welcome to another Trader Joe's haul. Um, yeah, where I share with you all the things I got from Trader Joe's in my weekly grocery shopping. And I also share with you some of my quick, easy, and healthy meals that I eat during the week. And if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, before my food starts to melt, let's get into my Trader Joe's haul. So I didn't get a lot this week. I also have stuff still in my fridge from last week, but uh, let's just start. So for breakfast, of course, I got my crunchy peanut butter cliff bars. So I just got two of those. Yeah, and I feel like trying uh, some new stuff. So I got the uh, Trader Joe's peanut date bars. I never tried this before. Um, yeah, so, but it says it only has five ingredients, which is date paste, peanut butter, chopped dry roasted peanuts, flaxseed meal, and sea salt. So we'll try that. And um, I also wanna try the one s'mores energy bar. So I have breakfast. Yeah, so uh, this week I'm gonna be making chicken tacos and uh, I got some jicama wraps uh, as the tortilla. So it says it's great for tacos and um, jicama tastes similar to like an uncooked potato so it doesn't really have any flavor. But um, I'm going to heat it up with a little bit of seasoning and use it as a tortilla for my tacos. So this has uh, 15 calories per slice. So it's definitely not for everybody but um, it's 15 calories per slice. So. So for my tacos, I have some organic sour cream. I got some organic skinless, boneless chicken breasts. And I'm also going to add uh, the Trader Joe's taco seasoning. I have some cilantro. Yeah, and I also got some cheese, just this Trader Joe's three cheese blend. And I also got some Trader Joe's feta cheese. Yeah, so I have some lettuce and um, some more stuff for the tacos already from last week. And also this week I'm gonna be making stir fried shrimp. So I just got some frozen shrimp. And I found this Asian style vegetable stir fry mix. So this is just a mix of mushrooms, bell peppers, broccoli, onion, um, snap peas, snow peas, and a couple other stuff. Technically, it's better to just buy bell peppers separately and cut them and broccoli and uh, snow peas or snap peas or whatever whatever it says in here. And um, yeah, and some broccoli and just, did I say broccoli? Okay, I don't remember. Anyway, so you could just um, make it yourself. But sometimes um, I just feel like a quick meal and it's just super convenient and I'm also one person, so. Sometimes I just want it to be quick. I needed some salt, and I also got the everything but the bagel seasoning. I've never tried this before, and I know this is said to be like so good and stuff, so um, yeah, so I decided to just like try it. Yeah, and I just got the classic Greek salads. I got two of them, it's just comfortable for me when I don't feel like cooking anything and I'm probably going to eat one like right now. And I also got some snacks. I got, well for me this is a snack, um, shelled adamame. So I either just put it in the fridge and let it uh, defrost overnight or I could just uh, cook it in boiling water and then I add just a little bit of salt on it. Yeah, and I also got some more snacks. I like to snack on this. Um, I got some frozen mangoes to snack on and organic frozen strawberries. I also love mochi. I try not to get them because every time I get them, I finish it on the same day. I can't just eat one every day like I plan on. I just buy them and then they're just gone within an hour. So, uh, but I got it this time. I love like every flavor they have. So this time I got strawberry. Yeah, so. This was kind of like a small haul, um, but I got some avocados. These are the teeny tiny avocados. So that way you don't have to just eat half and throw it away every time. It's just like exactly enough for like one, 
meal. And last but not least, I have to get bananas. I like to freeze them and um, it's either good to put it in smoothies or I just eat it frozen by itself. I just cut them in half and freeze them and that's just like another snack for me. Yeah, so those are my groceries for this week and I am going to show you what I make with them. So stay tuned. So for lunch, I'm gonna be making stir fried shrimp. I have this Argentinian red shrimp from Trader Joe's that I thawed. Um, I have some rice vinegar, less sodium soy sauce, toasted sesame oil, some olive oil, salt, pepper, honey, minced garlic, and the vegetables for the stir fry. So instead of this uh, stir fry mix, I usually just put some broccoli, some green onion, um, one red pepper, and uh, snap peas. But this looks like a convenient option. And the recipe is in the description box below. So first I start with making the sauce. I mix together five tablespoons of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of rice vinegar, and one tablespoon of honey, and I put it aside. Next, I heat the shrimp in olive oil, and I add some salt and pepper, and I cook it for about five minutes until the shrimp looks ready, and then I set it aside. Then in a clean skillet, I heat two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil, I add some minced garlic and I mix in the vegetables and I cook them for about seven minutes until they're soft. And I mix it all together and cook on medium heat and that's pretty much it. My second meal is chicken tacos. So for the chicken tacos, I am going to be using some lettuce, cilantro, um, boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I have olive oil, salt, cumin, paprika, minced garlic, taco seasoning, sour cream, pico de gallo, an avocado, a lime, some jicama wraps, and I also got um, some cheese. I like to make some tacos with shredded cheese and I like to make some with feta cheese. So I'm gonna start with making the chicken. So for that, all I need is olive oil, minced garlic, and taco seasoning. I start by slicing the chicken into thin strips and then I heat some olive oil and add some minced garlic and add in the chicken and two tablespoons of taco seasoning. And I mix it all together and cook on medium heat until the chicken is ready and I put it aside. So I got all the taco stuff ready. I have the shredded cheese, the feta cheese, um, the chicken, I have my jicama wraps pico de gallo, some sour cream, and I wash some lettuce, cilantro, I have some avocado, and a lime. And I am going to heat the jicama wraps right now, and for that all I need is some olive oil, salt, cumin, and paprika. I brush some olive oil on and sprinkle some salt, cumin, and paprika, and then turn them over and do the same on the other side and I heat them for about one to two minutes on each side. And then I just put everything together and that's it. So those are my chicken jicama tacos. I hope this gave you some meal ideas. And yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next video.